For a long time, people regarded Unknown Army as one of the best controller players. But the other day, we came across this video which showed him losing to a rising controller star named Reet. Looking at the comments, all we could find were diehard fans arguing who's better, which got us thinking. Who is better? The veteran unknown or the up and comer everyone's raving about? The one and only Reet. To find out, we're going to be pitting them against each other through five rounds. Mechanics, game sense, solos, team play, and the clutch factor. We'll analyze their gameplay, pick a winner for each category, and by the end of the video, we'll be able to come to a conclusion as to who is the better player. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win, and let's get started. So for our first category, it's a crucial one. We have mechanics. Both Unknown and Re are famed for their insane aim, building, peace control, and all that other good stuff. So who comes out on top here? Well, starting with Unknown, I don't have to say it. His mechanics are nuts. Back in the day, he was notorious for landing some of the most ridiculous shots ever. Put it all on the L2 spamming if you want, but not every controller player was capable of what Unknown was and still is even without legacy aim assist. And in chapter two, he actually helped pioneer the concept of peace control as we know it. I think he was one of the first players we ever saw boxing in his opponents like it was nothing, especially during the time when box fight wagers were huge. And just witnessing his playstyle during those moments really shaped how many of us play the game today. On the other hand, Reed's whole blow up recently has in large part been due to how incredible of a peace control player he is. It's as if he took what Unknown and a few others started and elevated it to a whole new level. If you've watched any of his videos or streams, you'll know his gameplay is so intimidating and aggressive, he doesn't hesitate or hold back at all because he's so confident in two areas, his ability to aim and his ability to box players like their Amazon packages. In terms of differences though, they're not too far off. Unknown's a bit more deliberate with his crosshair placement and lining up long range shots, and he also relies more on movement and effective peaks. Conversely, Reed seems to be better when it comes to peace control and close range aim. And in this pump shotgun meta, that matters a ton. I remember watching Reed for the first time and thinking his edits and aims seemed so unnatural. I was like, there's no way this guy's on controller, but he's just that good. I gotta point out the ping difference too. Ping is incredibly impactful in Fortnite and Unknown usually gets low numbers, around sub 20 ping. But Reed tends to get ping in the 40 to 50 range, which is shocking because we rarely see players go pro with that kind of ping. And the fact that Reed's still able to W key and rack up 30 bombs says a ton about how effective his mechanics are. Basically, his internet may not be the quickest, but his brain seems to be working in overdrive. In terms of overall mechanics, I can't imagine myself saying this a year ago, but Unknown isn't the winner here. We're giving it to Reet. What can I say? His peace control and aim are better than Unknown's, not by a whole lot, but in a subtle manner. And the fact that he does it all on higher ping makes it all the more impressive. Score is zero to one right now for Reet. Now, right before we hop into Game Sense, if you want to double your Game Sense and mechanics, then our Pro Guides one on one coaching will help you improve really fast. Our coaches are top 200 and trained, ready to help you take your game to the next level. Make sure to click the link below or in the card in the top right to get started. But next, let's talk about Game Sense. When it comes to making plays with their smarts, who's got the bigger brain? Starting with Unknown again, you don't do well in competitive Fortnite unless you understand the game at a very, very high level. That means things like knowing when to avoid fights, how to rotate properly, finding kills, etc. And Unknown excels in these areas. Many people think of him as a brainless W here for some reason, but other than a few instances, Unknown will play it by the book. One thing he excels at is finding openings. For example, he's almost always the one to shoot first and get his enemy super low. That's always been one of his strengths and you might think that's just luck or something, but it's purely game sense. It's knowing how people play the game, not just at a low level, but a high one too. And historically, just having that level of intuition has given him a huge advantage when it comes to placing. What about Reet though? Well, one thing we can't say is that his game sense in fights is world class. Trust me, tune in and watch him play and unless you're a Fortnite encyclopedia, you'll witness so many unique techniques and strategies. Sometimes it even feels as if he's able to read the future. Like he'll predict the opponent's next move and follow up with the exact peace control techniques he needs to completely block them off. Really impressive stuff that most of us can't even keep up with. However, outside of fighting, Reed's game set seems to fall ever so slightly behind. Now, admittedly, he's been improving loads at this over the past month, but he's had multiple moments where a tourney doesn't go his way. 
not because of a lack of mechanics, but because he makes minor decisional mistakes here and there. And hey, if you don't want that to be you, click the link at the top right of your screen so you can learn Game Sense from a pro coach today. Anyways, Re and Unknown have equal game sense when it comes to fighting, but Unknown possesses a far better understanding of the game at an overall level. To us, that's crucial to ignore, so we're giving Unknown the win here, tying the score at 1-1. One one. But for the next category, we've got solos. Looking at Unknown first, honestly, I wish things were going better for him. Not to say they aren't, but at the start of Chapter 2, Unknown won so many cash cups and turned him into one of the most famous pros in existence. But since then, it's as if there's some invisible barrier preventing him from achieving that greatness again. At his best, he'll end up in the top 5 or top 10, but he hasn't been getting those first place finishes he always used to. I mean, what gives? Well, he still plays excellently, like definitely at a top level, but he'll occasionally make these tiny mistakes here and there. And I don't know if it's because his skill on the sticks is slipping or if it's a mentality thing. I'm definitely leaning toward the mentality issue. Either way though, Unknown has definitely looked better in the past. On the contrary, Reed has been absolutely killing it, with several top 5 cash cup finishes and even a win all done in his trademark W key fashion. And when it comes to major tournaments, he seems to only be getting better and better, and he barely needs to switch his playstyle to pop off. Just recently, he finished 3rd in the October DreamHack Finals for West, then went and played on East and also finished 22nd there. Just for comparison, Unknown finished 95th on East, so yeah. Even when Reed's not on his home server, he's pulling better results than Unknown, which brings us to my next point. Unknown plays on NA East while Reed plays NA West. If you don't know the difference, East has a much larger population, about three to four times as many players, meaning there's a lot more competition. So while Reed might have gotten better placements on West, they don't necessarily equate, and really, there's no telling if he would have done the same on East. All that being said though, if we were to include both players' entire competitive history, Unknown would take this category no problem, but we want to keep it relevant to now and in the past several months, Unknown just hasn't been keeping up with Reed's stellar performances. So because of that, we're giving Reed the win for this one. The score is now 2-1 in his favor. Up next is team play, but for this one, instead of tournament results, we're going to be looking at how well each of them performs in a team setting. Things like communication, fighting, how well they coordinate, and so on. Now the first thing that jumped out about Unknown was his willingness to put his team first. For example, if he's not not playing with any support players, he'll happily take that role for his team, even if it means carrying a bandage gun and harpoon into the endgame and handicapping his own ability to frag. And for someone like Unknown, that's kind of crazy to think about, because with all of his accomplishments, you'd think he'd have a big ego and want to be the fragger every time, but he simply doesn't. Instead, he understands how vital it is to have a well-rounded and well-supported team, and so he'll make sacrifices in order for that to happen. Speaking of sacrifices, Unknown also excelled at keeping track of where his team is and what they're doing. So usually anytime they're in trouble, he's able to instantly switch focus from what he's doing to help them out. Other than that though, Unknown's comms have always been on point. A lot calmer than we usually see, but that could be attributed to him having excellent chemistry with his teammates and not needing to explain every action with high intensity and detail. In comparison, Reed's also been conducting himself at a really high level in team modes. Him and his teammates have absolutely annihilated West this season, but we noticed a couple of minor flaws in Reed himself. One being that he gets separated from his team way too often. Now sometimes you want to separate in team modes, but Reed tends to do it when it's uncalled for. He'll also go for reckless plays without communicating beforehand, and you know it pays off from time to time, but not always. I definitely think he could leverage his talent here a bit better if he was just more active on the comps, but that's just how he is. So looking at past results and purely at their teamwork, to us, it's pretty clear Reed is coming long way, but falls slightly behind Unknown, who's always done an excellent job at providing whatever the team needs. And with that, the score's tied two to two, so it's down to my favorite category, the clutch factor. Who is better at taking an impossible scenario and turning it into a dub? Well, who could forget Unknown's ridiculous pop-off during squad's FNCS? He may not have clutched the victory royale, but he single-handedly earned his team a bunch of points and skyrocketed them into first place. I definitely call that a clutch. Heck. We consider it his finest play, and it's a pretty dang historic one if you ask me. Unfortunately, there is just one of the few examples, and it happened almost a year ago. Since then, there haven't been many crazy unknown clutch moments that we can recall. Even after watching hours of footage to prepare for this video, we ended up pretty disappointed after seeing that number two pop up on the screen game after game. Sadly, I think that unknown just doesn't do as well in high pressure situations anymore. But still, does Reed even have any clutches that can compare to unknown? Well, instead of explaining, let me just show you a clip. Look at us, guys. One shot, one shot, Reed. One shot, guys. Get that. 
Nice. One more, one more. Get this spot, get this spot. You're good. On your wall, on your wall. You're good, you're good. Get that full two, get that full two in this box, in this box here, right? Yep. Nice. Okay. Dude, fool. Wait, this is a random. Oh. Wait, you win that. Here, fool. Oh my god, Reed. Here, fool. 78. It's gonna come in, it's gonna come in. You can play slow. You have so many mats. You're gonna get your full. Nice. Here's a wall, remember? He's in your box. Nah, no, you're actually different. He's in all your edits. I'm the best, best baby! Holy <laughs> in the world. Yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? Reed not only clutched against one trio, but another after that. Our jaws hit the floor with that one. And honestly, plays like that are sort of a common occurrence with him. Reed's always pulling off the nuttiest plays. It's almost as if he plays better when the stakes are higher. I don't know how, but he's definitely one of the best clutchers we've ever seen. With all that said and done, we think Reek deserves to win the Clutch Factor category, which makes our final score three to two in favor of Reek. So in our opinion, he is the better player, but not by a whole lot. I know a lot of you guys think that Unknown is washed or whatever, but trust me guys, that couldn't be further from the truth. Fortnite is a game full of ups and downs, and just because someone isn't performing like they used to, doesn't mean they won't again. And it especially doesn't mean that they're bad. Regarding this matchup, I think that Liquid Scented had a great take. He said the only controller player that could come close to Reet is unknown in his prime. 100% agreed, Reet might be one of the best controller players right now, but for months on end, unknown was too, and we can't forget that. But no one knows how the future will shape things, so for now, Reet is our best pick as the better player. Do you guys agree though? Let us know in the comments, and as always, make sure to check out ProGuides.com for more videos just like this one. And as always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe with the bell on so you don't miss any upcoming videos just like the one you watched. All right, guys, my name is Beyond, aka Ollie, and I'll see you guys in the next one.